Good morning, folks. We start today in Sumatra. In 2010, the Sinabum volcano began rumbling for the first time in 410 years. Just three years later, they're evacuating thousands. There's ash covering local towns. The closest residents are not allowed to return and have been told their homes might not be there anymore. Shifting gears to C-2012 S1 Ison. It's the latest from my new favorite Ison source, Bruce Gary. He claims it's brightened slightly in the last four days, matching expectations. This is a top website for Ison fans, and here's his version of the brightness curve. And here's the August State of the Climate Report. Lots of localized events to read about, but my primary focus was confirmation of a much cooler summer in 2013 compared to last year. Not the whole country experienced it like that, but a lot did. Also have a good alternative chart comparing only the superheat events. Much, much abated in 2013 compared to last year. The numbers below show about a three-fold change since last year in favor of cold. As always, they break down regional events and stats for whichever region piques your interest. Serious weather event down under, rain, wind, and an early spring storm. They are lined up one after another here. Power low is encroaching Europe, driving storms across the leading pressure convergence with the Mediterranean still lighting up as well. Back west of Mexico, Manuel is heading north and sending moisture that way as well to match Hurricane Ingrid in the Gulf. It has become the major event it was predicted to become and would be interesting if it followed its moisture shear into the continental United States. This is it. That's all the sunspots we got. The go shows what the experts are hoping is just the trough between Solar Max double peaks. Fly on the Wall listeners got a little extra perspective on that in the hour plus added in this week's discussions. We're over six hours of different discussions on there, by the way. Solar wind is absolutely calm. Might win a hush hush contest, except it appears that's KP's specialty today. Generally, coronal hole power is increasing, but with slightly less towards the Earth. Two nights ago, we set a mid watch globally, but put Alaska on four shock warning. It wasn't much, but the quake of the day was indeed a 6.1 that struck that exact same location. For those asking about Yellowstone, I've said 3.0 is the marker for significance, and we caught two. Also had another four-pointer in the Northeast Caribbean. Highly unusual. For those following the planets, Mercury and Uranus are geocentrically opposed today. While Saturn and Venus are dancing in the evening sky all week. Get out there first cloudless sunset you have. Corona holes hidden way to the south and yet another coming in up top. Also got plasma dancing. Top solar watches for filamentary eruption. Eyes open. No fear at 6.50 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.